Yeah, I decided. <clears throat> I decided to uh, make this video. But whether or not it'll be published is really questionable because I'm looking. I'm looking at myself, <laughs> which is really um, what this video is about: is looking at ourself. So, you know, we look at ourselves, and we, and we are. Are we looking at our, our self? So, hi, Steve. Name I was given and um, seemed okay, so I kept it. But when I say we look at ourselves, we look at our physical form. So I was aware that um, this morning that I have the appearance of hair that's been slept on, which <clears throat> it is actually hair that's been slept on, and not brushed or combed, face that's not been shaved. And <clears throat> came up this morning with an awareness of energy. So it led, it led to a, a really interesting conversation about our perceptions of the world and how we can tend to judge the world and with the habit of feeling better about ourselves because we judge the world as worse than us. And when I had the realization that that's what I was doing, that I was judging the world to feel safer about my place in it, but as I expanded it, I looked at the, I looked at it from a, well, just from some place that came up inside my head, that I was talking about certain, certain relationships I have with the world and as I was talking about the relationship that I had with the world, I was feeling pains in my body that I hadn't been feeling until I began talking about my relationships with the world, and which has to do with my relationships with people. And then I t was talking about, and this was a conversation, so it wasn't like this, which is a monologue. This was a conversation that was going on. And I was talking about the effect that the conversation was having in my consciousness, which led me to think about how I have changed in the world based on certain relationships being important and feeling like those relationships were not going in a good direction and realizing that that's one thing that I could do would be to change my energetics, my behaviors, <laughs> my beliefs, and my boundaries, and my behaviors, which is the way I was told that we can change. Uh, and I was told this in the dream world, that there are three ways to change, and they were very specific in the dream world. They're like, there's three ways to change. You can either change your beliefs, you can change your boundaries, or you can change your behaviors. And those are the three ways you can actually produce change in yourself. And so I've been working with this, but I was really working with the understanding of what I have been doing that has produced change. So I've been recognizing that certain relationships are really important to me. And when I feel the disturbance in the force, 
I look at myself. <laughs> this is a like this is like phenomenal that, that that I do this. That I rather than look at the problem with the people in the world and how it's better for me to avoid them, I look at myself and see what is it in me that I could change in terms of my beliefs, my behaviors, or my boundaries. What can I change? And the, the, uh, the whole construct that I need to change is very different than the construct that the world needs to change. And the tarot cards that I've been getting, and I haven't even pulled a tarot card today, but the tarot cards that I've been getting for the world have all been about how we need to change. If we want the world to change, we need to change. So I began, so one thing I recognized was that what's been coming into my consciousness over the past week or so has been about, I need to connect with my higher consciousness. That I am that I am, I am all that I experience, everything is me, and if I feel isolated, that's me too. That's me experiencing isolation. And I can either stay in that isolation and say, well, the, wor the world's a problem. I need to stay away from it. Or I can say, my consciousness is creating that world that I feel like I need to stay away from it. Maybe what I need to do is really engage with that world and really find, not out there trying to trigger myself, but really find my triggers and find how I feel pain in my interaction with the world at times and how I attempt to avoid interaction to avoid the pain. But in order to have the world change, I need to change. That's, that's all there is to it. So, and it's not just like I need to, you know, get a haircut or I need to comb my hair or I need to shave my face. But I need to really change in either of the three ways. The beliefs, what beliefs do I have that are limiting, that keep me having the same experience? What behaviors do I have that are limiting to keep me having similar experiences? And what boundaries do I have or not have that keep causing me to have the same experience? So I can change my beliefs, my behaviors, and my boundaries. And I noticed today when I would find myself contracting in relationship to the energetic of the conversation I was having, I was realizing, okay, so here is an opportunity. Like every opportunity, here is an opportunity to change. And when I change, to notice if my experience is different. And this is how we're going to grow as individuals and as a world and the letting go of these limiting constructs of ourself allow us to take on these larger constructs of ourself, like I'm, I'm an aspect of the universal mind. Now, if I perceive myself as a limited, constricted aspect of the universal mind, then that's my experience. But if I experience myself as an unlimited, uncontracted <clears throat> aspect of the universal mind, then that's my experience. So we can, 
we can go ahead and continue to complain about our experience, like, oh, the world's done this to me. Oh, I had these things happen to me when I was a child. And trust me, I'm 73 years old, and I've been talking about this stuff since I arrived. Like, oh, you know? And I started therapy at the age of 19, so that's 50, 55 years ago. I started talking about how horrible the world had treated me. And then when I got into past life, when I got into reincarnation and traveling back to other lives, I traveled back to other lives where the world had treated me really bad. <laughs> so it wasn't just this life has been lifetime after lifetime after lifetime that the world has treated me bad. And had was I having that experience, experience out of my contraction and out of seeing myself as separate from the universal mind? And am I willing to open up? Apparently, if I, especially if I publish this, it'll say, yeah, you just published it, you know? But am I willing to let go of those contracted beliefs, behaviors, and boundaries that keep me out of the awareness that I am, that I am, I am an aspect of that oneness that is here to see what we can do with that consciousness. So, um, I not pulled any cards, it's just like throwing it out there. I may actually um, post this even though I, I could get in trouble with the hair police, you know, for posting uh, posting uh, wild, reckless hair, you know, sleep sleep deprived hair <laughs> hair look, and um, with bad lighting, you know, I the the posting police may have something to say about this post. All right, so that's it. Now let's go. It's uh, always a pleasure and. Um, I'm really glad to know you.